What's up you guys? Steven here for Off The Shelf Movie Night for a quick little video about physical media, Blu-rays, and 4Ks and the way we like to own our movies and TV shows. This little video is going to be about demo discs. And what is a demo disc? What are some recommended demo discs? What are my criteria for demo discs? If you're a physical media collector, you're in the right spot. Please give me a sub if you haven't done so and let's continue the conversation about physical media. So I'm just going to do a quick video. I'm going to make a couple of recommendations for you about uh, of demo discs. So let's say you've got this hot new system. You've got yourself your OLED TV uh, with 4K and HDR and all this. And I'm assuming we're going full on. We've got that. And we've got a minimum of some new uh, kicking 7.1 surround system, or maybe Atmos, like what I've, I've put in, in my space, or a beautiful badass projector. So there's some differences to be aware of. Um, if you want projector, you probably only have, well not probably, you only have HDR10, HDR10 Plus at the most. You don't have uh, Dolby Vision yet, uh, unless you've spent a lot of money. Uh, I don't find that to be that big of a deal. You do get some extra nits of brightness in Dolby Vision, but the dynamic color differences to me are, are not that other, other than that level of brightness. And, it's, and literally it's because you have a projector. Projectors are meant for blowing it up big and those bulbs can't do the level of brightness that something like an OLED screen can do. Um, but my side of that argument is, okay, it's not as bright, but if you are a theater buff, you are somebody who wants to bring the cinematic experience home. The projector looks more like a theater experience, right? So there's Dolby Vision Theater and there's IMAX, which are different, but your, your, your standard really great typical theater experience is not that. So, so I have both. I have a, a TV in my living room that has Dolby Vision. Um, it's not an OLED. It's a standard uh, LED, but it, it has Dolby Vision. But I watch my stuff in, in there, this projector space. And I find a really beautiful picture, um, huge, to be more important than uh, some more nits of brightness and sound, having a great sound system. So Okay, so let's take that into consideration. You've, you've got that, whether it's a, a kick in 5.1, 7.1, or you've gone full Atmos, you've got a beautiful TV, 4K, and you have friends coming over, and they wanna see one, what can your system do, and two, do they need, you know, do they need to even own physical media? Why can't they just stream, you know? And you can stream, you can. Streaming is great for uh, convenience, especially for travel and that kind of thing. But if you want the best picture and sound, you just you still cannot beat a piece of physical media. I mean, and it's still that way music too, for music too. Honestly, honestly, I feel like maybe um, there's some streaming options that have gotten pretty close, if not the same as CD quality. But uh, that vinyl, um, I'm not a vinyl collector, but I do understand that that quality of, of sound is still the warmest tonally and the best out there. Um, there's no compression there and all that stuff. Anyway, so you got to convince them that, that one, physical media has its place. And two, you know, and some of you are not on this bandwagon yet, but I'm going to just assume we're going full on upgrade. And two, what is so great about 4K? So there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options that you can choose for a demo disc. I'm just going to show you three. I'll do another video later, maybe do three more. Every so often I'll do another video. If you, if you like this, let me know in the comments um, what you think of this kind of video. And, you know, you feel, feel free to share your, your demo recommendations too. Because there's some obvious ones here that I'm not covering in this video. I'll get to them. I'll get to them in another video. All right, so let's talk about... A loved movie that people have seen over and over again but haven't seen it look and sound this good in years in years um, first thing as a general rule I'm breaking that rule here a little bit but as a general rule 4k benefits shot on film movies the most it does it benefits shot on film the most because those those have the the uh, visual space to grow into 4k you take a digital film that was shot in 2k the best you're getting is an upscale 
okay? And while that can look great, and I'll, there's some, in a future video, I, there may actually be a 2K uh, upscale to 4K movie that I recommend, but, um, you know, look at your movie shot on film. And I'm the first one I'm going to recommend, and this was just something me and my buddy Zach had decided to use as a demo disc the other day, and it's really good, and that is The Matrix in 4K. Uh, this is not technically an Atmos mix, so if you don't have Atmos, you're still going to get the very best of this mix. If you do have Atmos, your system is still about to get hammered, because this mix is phenomenal. Um, it, I mean, it won an Oscar, for goodness sake. This, this is one of the best audio mixes of the last 30 years. So, on top of that, this 4K transfer really, really sticks to what the film originally looked like. The color palette is perfect. Um, detail is where it needs to be. There are some scenes in the, in the movie that are less detailed than others, and I think that's due to source material. That's the way it was supposed to look. But when you look at close-ups, uh, especially in the more natural shots, like natural color-wise shots, and there's not a lot of them, but in, in those, you can really see like the pores of people's skin and um, the, the CG effects that are in here now, that's the downside is the CG effects in here are dated and this 4K um, shows the limitations of the CG at the time. Overall though, this movie looks beautiful and it will rock your system. So if you forward to the big battle, like the big sort of final battle you go into that space uh, there's beautiful visuals um, texture in their in their the leather in their jackets and pants is, is incredible you see all that there sound wise you get bullets whizzing all around you um, there's a helicopter explosion um, if you have Atmos if you have Atmos and, and it does an Atmos conversion on this film um, the helicopter rotors, when the helicopter falls to the side above you, and the uh, when the sprinkler system goes on, and the, and the water coming from the ceiling above you, those things sound incredible, incredible. And this is a movie everyone loves and can attack, can appreciate. All right, number two is something that just came out, and I'm recommending this more for sound than anything, and that is Uncut Gems, the Criterion 4K. So this was a shot on film affair, so the film is is a very nice presentation. Like it threw me off at first as I was looking at it, but as I settled into it, uh, the, the, the dynamic color in this movie really started to stand out to me. When they're in the jewelry shop, uh, if you haven't seen Uncut Gems, it's Adam Sandler. It's Adam Sandler's best film and he plays a jewelry dealer who is also a gambling addict. Um, Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Um, so there's a lot of scenes inside a jewelry shop, and there's a lot of uh, fluorescent lights in there, and different shades of uh, of light and that kind of thing. It all looks incredibly beautiful. There's some shots, uh, close up of Adam Sandler's face, where you could see the wrinkles in his eyes, around his eyes, and the pores of his skin. It's just really stunning. And this is the most, one of the most odd sound mixes. I've heard in a long time because this sound mix was was created the, theatrically to mess with your mind to build your anxiety there's scenes in again back in the jewelry shop where it's full it's a tiny space but it's full and everyone is talking and yelling at the same time and it, in the theater it was so overwhelming because it just engulfed you because it was like you were in the jewelry shop with them and the sound was around and you couldn't really focus on one conversation because it was so loud and the audio mix here fully fully brings that to life those scenes brought all that anxiety back I find it's a to be a really challenging film to watch because of that it's running throughout the movie and this sort of surreal uh, score just adds to it it just adds to it um, in this version, you could pick out some of the oddities, though, um, that I didn't notice in the theater. Um, again, Zach and I were, my, my buddy Zach and I were 
looking at this, and you would have someone on screen talking, and their voice would move to another speaker that didn't quite make sense. Why did it go there? And it's all part of what they're doing audibly to fuck with you. Stellar presentation. Highly recommended. All right, so my third choice is going to be for those friends you have that hate film grain. Because you, we've looked at a couple of films. They have grain. That's part of the beauty of film. But if, if they're just so stuck on this grain-free digital world, I'm going to recommend Aquaman. Aquaman, the brights in this, if you do have Dolby Vision, are going to... I mean, you're going to get sunburned from it. Um, it's completely crisp and clean and uh, almost freakishly so. It's beautiful. It's not the kind of film that, the way I like film, this is you know a digitally shot film with zero grain, but the color and detail in it are stunning. Mira's red hair just pops and there's a scene where they're in like a bazaar and she um, picks up a, uh, some roses, like a, some flowers, and there's petals of, everywhere. That red just Boom, it just pops, and that's the sequence I'm going to recommend because the sky is blazing hot and it's blindingly bright, yet at the same time, you can see uh, every bit of Jason Momoa's hair and the detail in it. Beautiful. It's a good soundtrack, also. It's good, it's really good. Nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't stand out. The soundtrack doesn't stand out to me quite the way the other two films do, but visually, this is a zero grain film. The uh, special effects look good in 4K. I mean, uh, I have no complaints there. And sound-wise, you might take some scenes underwater because that water sounds the water sounds do engulf you and sound really good. So, all right. So it's a quick video, kind of quick for quick for me. That's my first three demo disc recommendations. If you want more demo disc recommendations, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like and tell me in the comments if you want me to do more of these and we'll get it done. Till next week, meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. I'll see you guys on the next one.